knew the torch would light the way to the big league. Pete, hey, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Don't be too impressed, though. I just went from being a big fish in a small pond to a minnow in the Atlantic. <laughs> well, I, for one, have read all your stories, and as much as some things change, some things always remain the same. I couldn't agree more. I'm actually in the process of mopping up Lex Luthor's daily carnage as we speak. Now, there's a name I don't miss. He's playing Big Brother on all of the computers at the Daily Planet. All my work is under his cyber lock and key. Well, can't you just work some of your virtual voodoo and get him back? Short of him receiving a direct hit from a massive virus, I'm afraid all of the files are forever in the clutches of Citizen Lex. Maybe I can give him something else to focus on. Cool, huh? Actually, yeah. Uh, come here. You don't want Lex or anyone else seeing that you can do that. Come on, Chloe. Don't tell me that Clark's got you running scared because of his secret, too. Okay, I know you don't mean that, because this isn't about Clark. Isn't it? I mean, I remember what it was like covering for him. Always having to watch what you had to say, lying to you. Making somebody keep a secret like that, Chloe, uh, all it does is hurt people. Well, sometimes you don't have another choice. Yes, you do. And for one, I'm glad not to be following in Clark's footsteps. Uh, no secrets, Chloe. Put it on the front page. I want people to know. Okay, Pete, I get the whole reach for the stars mentality. And right now, you actually could reach a few of those stars, but... What about all the meteor-infected people who still appreciate their privacy? They want to keep living a lie. That's their problem. Maybe it's time for everyone to realize that a girl doesn't hide in the shadows. Excuse me. <laughs> 